Oh, okay, this is my uh, part two, and this is a battery tester. Now I can do alkaline, nitrate, nickel, metal hydrate, but I won't do lithium. So in part one, I did this uh, flashlight buzz here, a load tester for the battery. Now on this one here, you can see uh, it has a, a, a knob here, and you just put it on the one you want. So I'll show you that. In in a second. Okay, hi, my name is Dave and I'm from Toronto, Canada and I did a video on uh, battery testers, uh, voltmeters and tools. So I've done three videos. I did one on voltmeters so you know how to work. I had a friend I helped that out and then I made uh, one on a lithium battery tester for with flashlight bulbs you can uh, uh, use that you can use it for any battery but if you have a voltmeter here uh, what you can do is just get a resistor okay now there's two ways you can do this you can make connections and then just plug them in or use the switches right but uh, this is the cheapest way to go now the only problem is uh, is you have to watch the power okay so the voltage equals the power or in watts is equal to the voltage times the current so say here the current here is 0.5 at full volts you need 2 watts okay now the reason I said Toronto uh, active components is at Steeles and Victoria Park just south of and you can get 20 watt resistors in it and that's how I made one in the 90s okay now on this meter I have you have 1.5 volts at 150 milliamps well you just take the voltage divided by the current and you get 10 ohms okay so that's now when I went into shoppers it said 2000 milliamp hours at 10% rated value and the people who make the batteries want you to new, do that. So if I run it at 200 milliamps I, I, uh, over 10 hours, two things, I'll get 2000 milliamps and the voltage will be constant. It, it will, you know, the voltage won't drop. Now, here is the battery here. This is the resistance here. So the voltage equals the current times the resistor. So if the more current I pull out of here and the longer the battery goes the shorter time you will get so for example I have a, a battery for a, 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 a XL it's a 500 milliamp battery now if I run it at 100 milliamps it lasts four and a half because I'm running at 20 cent 20 percent anyways this one here this voltmeter, if you have a voltmeter, this is one of the uh, ways to do it. And then uh, you could put a switch here, switch them in and out, or make connectors. So uh, that's just a simple way to make a, a battery tester. Now, uh, I've got one, and he says it's often called the expanded voltmeter because it's uh, when it's to the left, it's one volt and if it's to the right it's 1.5 so you get a little bit more and when it's in the middle it's 1.2 and I use them all for my uh, cameras so this is more for NICADs, metal hydrate or uh, radio control boats okay 